I wrote this book because every time I went into an Asian restaurant, I noticed that there were two restaurants. I was walking into two restaurants, one where the regulars dine and one where the tourists eat and are just passing through. And I thought there has to be a way for everybody to get the insider regular experience. So I wrote the book and it contains all the strategies you need. You don't have to be Asian. You don't have to speak an Asian language. You don't have to be good looking or famous. I'm not. I, I, I'm not any of those things. But if you know a few basics, you can go in and get the royal treatment at pretty much any Asian restaurant. I'm mostly an expert on Asian dining by virtue of having eaten more dumplings, egg rolls, and spare ribs than any 10 real Asian people. I wear my credentials on my waist mostly, but I also have devoted a tremendous amount of time over the last five years as I've been working towards this book of visiting Asian restaurant kitchens, interviewing the owners of different Chinese, Japanese, Southeast Asian, Indian, and Korean restaurants, talking to them about what it is that distinguishes the customers that are going to get the best stuff from the customers that are just going to get the white people menu. It starts from the assumption that you've had the basics in Chinese food, but maybe you want to learn a little more. Whereas I think most people reading the book will not have explored extensively in Cambodian food. So there I treat everybody as a beginner. Well, I think the number one piece of advice that I try to give people in Japanese restaurants is sit at the sushi bar because you're either sitting at the sushi bar or you're a tourist. I wrote this whole book and every time I go to a sushi restaurant I still learn something new from the sushi chef. So take the chef's advice and then on subsequent visits I think it's useful to order omakase which is chef's choice, you know, surprise me. And you can always say omakase but I'm a, I don't like mackerel or I'm allergic to shellfish or whatever. They'll adapt it to you but by letting them choose, you're basically authorizing them to give you the best stuff. They know what's fresh. You don't know what came in that day, the day before, or the week before, but they do. And when you place your trust in them, they're not likely to betray that trust. The book contains all the tactics and strategies that you need as an educated consumer. There's also a lot of entertaining anecdotes in addition to the brass tacks, get it done strategies.